simplicity and, and trying to, to come up with uh, theorems that are cleanly stated and, and simple to understand uh, really matters in the field. You can come up with very complicated structures and things that are true, but interesting because they're just too complicated to bend your head around. And so people look for the simplicity. We were, there's just hundreds of problems that you might want to look at. It turns out that you can say some of them are easy, some of them are hard, mm -hmm. some of them you're not sure, but they're clearly the same and sometimes they're just recodings of the same problem. So that sifting out of these various problems was, was the bread and butter of what was going on in theoretical computer science at the time, yeah. trying to figure out which problems are easy on a computer, which problems are hard. Arose when Stephen Boyack, who I just mentioned, gave me a paper from Diffie and Hellman, uh, which uh, said, you know, uh, new directions in cryptography. And that paper was really what changed uh, my life in many ways. It said, here's a set of problems that we don't know how to solve, but which look like they could have theoretical interest and practical impact. And they're absolutely right. They said, this, this is a beautiful paper, nicely written, mm -hmm. and said, uh, here's the idea, the vision of a public key cryptographic system and some ideas as to the kinds of things that relate to that and what, how that might be achieved. But they didn't have a working solution. One of the works I did at um, Stanford, as I mentioned earlier, was this fast median finding algorithm. There were five of us on the paper, and I remember the program committee saying, what is this? You can't all be co-authors. You know, you're just trying to get travel money for the graduate students involved or something like this. And it really was co you know, co-authored in a collaborative way. But that was unusual then. Collaboration uh, is nowadays much more a, a thing and, and much more common and routine than it was back then. That's one of the lessons uh, that was learned during World War II, apparently, was that in Germany, the cryptographers who were making codes and the crypt analysts who were assessing their security and yes. trying to break them were in different buildings and different camps, and they didn't communicate enough. And had they done so, they might have realized that their enigma was was, was breakable. So I think we, we've learned today that it's very helpful to have people working both sides of the fence, working together to build codes. I think it helps. I mean, there's a lot of pushback on the part of the fossil fuel industry and so on too, saying, you know, this is a hoax or whatever. But I think that the, by and large, the science is winning this debate.